Hey guys, hello and welcome, Tony Bing here, hope you're all doing well. Today I'll be having a look at the group movie Team Up. Now it does come in two other variants, the standard one is 200 splinters and you've also got Holiday Group which is released as a gift around about Christmas time. The variant we're looking at, the movie group, is you can get that through the Guardian the Galaxy achievement chain. It, it does take a fair bit of work, but in my opinion it is really worth it. Uh, reason being that it looks great and uh, the standard model for the Holiday Group and the just standard group don't look that great, they really don't at all, they've kind of aged quite a bit. Now let's get them called in, there we go. Really does look nice, great model there. Would be better if I had uh, movie Rocket Raccoon, but hey, oh, he still looks good being teamed with Rocket anyway. So the first skill we'll look at is Roll and Smash. Physical damage, knockdown duration 2 seconds and cooldown is 6 seconds. Let's put points into that. And there we go. Now if he is far away from the enemy, we'll actually roll towards him and close down, so that makes that skill even better. Now, following on from that, we have Brutes Roots. So physical damage, cooldown 4 seconds. Looks standard enough until you look at the modifier, which is Entangling Roots. Now that adds a physical damage dot for 3 seconds, and it also adds a Mobilize for 3 seconds. So you've got a 4 second cooldown and a 3 second Immobilize, which is fantastic. Looks nice as well, as you can see. Now, we've got another utility skill to follow that up, so that's that's 3 out of 3 so far. It's Healing Spores. At one point you regenerate 230 health per second for 5 seconds. If we put max points into it, which we would definitely do, you're looking at a whopping 868 health per second for 5 seconds. So that works out that you're regaining 4340 health every 20 seconds, which is really good. The animation looks great as well, especially if you're a fan of the movie there. I do like that. Now, we've actually got a fourth utility skill. We have Crater, which is physical damage, but it has stun duration, 2 seconds, and cooldown of 10 seconds. So, so far, while the animation's gone off, we're looking at Knockdown, Immobilize, a Heal, and also a Stun. And this is in a 200 Splinter Hero, or a hero you can get through Achievement Rewards. Absolutely fantastic. Now, for his first standard physical damage skill, it's Bramble Toss. So, physical damage, 8 second cooldown. There we go. All simple enough, that particular one. Following that up, you do have I Am Groot, his signature. So, if you place points into this, you'll notice that this steroid buff would it would put his health up by 21,000. Defence, 16%, and base damage, 49%. It also grows bigger as well, which looks nice. So, let's see this one. There we go. That looks great. Does look especially good when once he's got all his skills firing off at the same time. So I'll put my points into the build I've been using so you can see that. And then following on from that, we'll talk about the passive side of things. He can be used in both. I do prefer having him active because of that huge heal that he can certainly offer. He can offer in both roles. There we go. That's the setup I'd be using there. So we've got max points into his healing. Max points into his hard hitting damage skills, and then the remainder into his his steroid just to give him a bit more tankiness in case he needs it. Really does look good when he's he's a larger model. They're firing off all these skills. Great looking. Now onto the passive side of things. You have tough as bark. Maximum health nine hundred. Defense rating seven hundred and twenty. Which from a TTL perspective, it's a it's a not bad amount to get from a a beneficial team up as a way skill. So we'll reset his actual skills and then what I'll do is I'll put points into the benefit will team up as a way skills so you can see how they scale. So you have We Are Groot, starts off physical defence rate in 270, regenerate 0 0.5 maximum health per second. Now sadly as you place points into this, the physical defence rate goes up but the regenerate health stays the same, which is a bit of a shame there. And next up from that, we would then have healing spores connected to the given tree. Now, when you have these two linked together, you won't gain the benefit of healing spores when it does proc. You will gain the benefit of the given tree, and it's a lot less health. It's still a nice amount, but it is a lot less. You get 277, so that's nothing compared to the 800 you get when he's actually in active mode. And then the final benefit of team up is away we have it's Groot's root tied into entangling roots and then tied into Beware the Tree. So that would proc every 30 seconds for you. So let me actually put the points into him if I was using him in passive mode. So 
So what we're doing is we're making the most of his healing, we're making the most of his hard hitting damage skills as well there. We're only placing one point and we are good for the, the reason I was mentioning about the regenerate health not actually going up higher. There we go, so that's the setup I'd be using. So overall fantastic team up, especially in, as I was saying, for 200 splinters or potentially getting them free if you're willing to work at the achievement reward. Uh, later on I will hopefully get a video for Gamora and Drax put up. I figured I would continue this Gardens of the Galaxy theme, so I'll see all you guys later. Please do remember to like, subscribe and share, and as I say, see you all again soon.